Welcome to the show. Cheers, Welcome. everybody. Oh, Welcome, Eleanor, to the show. Uh, yeah, thanks for having us. Episode on. 22. Mm. Oh, yeah. Feels good to be back. Mm. This week. I was really excited for tonight. Oh. Even though Jason's gone. I'll say, anybody who's uh, been watching in the past, notice our good friend Jason. is not with us tonight. He's, uh, he's home sick. Uh, so we're hoping he's getting... What's up, Coram? No, Jason just shaved his beard. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's his Jason. After, yeah, after Jason shaves his beard, uh, he well, looks right. This is here. This is him. He looks fair normally <laughs> on camera. Uh, it's an effect that the beard. It's the has. darkness of the beard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 I don't know what it is, but. Oh. No, but uh, he's home sick tonight. Uh, you know, best of luck, buddy. Get feeling better. Uh, you'll be here next week. Uh, but we got our buddy Elder here tonight. Guest Hello. appearance. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Drinking some beers. Mm-hmm. Cheers to Elder. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, cheers to that. Cheers, cheers to Elder. To and this. Yeah. This is like Elder Scrolls. Yeah, you have right. difficulty remembering As names. always, guys, if you guys are drinking tonight, let us know what you're drinking. Also, I just saw Luke uh, joined in. Don't let me know what you're drinking, because I know that you are at Walnut River Brewing right now. Let us know which one you're drinking. <laughs> and a lot of me wants to say fuck you. But, no, that's awesome, dude. Uh, I'm so glad that you're there. I'm so jealous. Uh, yeah, Luke's, Luke was sending us some snaps earlier. Uh, he is at Walnut River Brewing right now, which is our first beer that we're drinking tonight. Rob Hamilton from Georgia. How you drinking, doing, man? Uh, drinking Walnut River's War Beard. Rob got so. robbed like two weeks ago. Oh, they shit. They fucking like, took his phone and, I don't know, some punks, I guess, when he was playing disc golf in some park. Oh, so, but it wasn't oh, like his man. house. No. Fuck with the dude okay. like playing disc gunpoint. golf. Oh, no, like came up and like yeah. fucking yeah. Oh, like, tried geez. to jack him. Damn, that's fucked up. That's I mean, really it's not good either way, but I thought you meant like his house got robbed and shit. But. No. No, that's not. Uh, what's up, everybody else? Also, uh, Justin's here. Cheers to you for uh, liking the page earlier. Hell yeah, man. Everybody who uh, gives that like gives us a share, man. We always appreciate that. Yeah, and let us know what you're drinking out there. We'd like to know. We yeah. can't be the only ones drinking on a Tuesday, Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Tuesday night. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's the in. best night to drink. It helps you like adjust to hump day. Yeah. Because then you walk in Wednesday and you're like, <laughs> uh, you hide in your off, you know, you, you yeah. hide for a couple hours. Yeah, you do. Absolutely, you fucking do. Mm. Darkest Utter Nitro. Yep. Hell yeah, dude. That's if you ever have the Dark Utter, it's their newest one. Uh, unless they got some uh, some new seasonals, Luke. But uh, you can buy it at the liquor stores. It's uh, they can it. It's a good beer. That was my brother's uh, birth- birthday beer. He, uh, a good he bought one. a bunch of it and he loved it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. it's real good. Purple rain. Uh, all right. So is this our first or our second uh, El Dorado beer? Well, this is our beer. first one on first. Account. Yeah. First. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure. So, man, these guys make good beers, though. I've, I've had their picked, IPA. It's I think I've amazing. picked a Kansas beer the last three or four fucking choices. I've been trying. To yeah, this was Chris's course. choice, by the way, tonight. Uh, Chris chose this one. Fourteen so, on tap. Yeah. Yeah, oh. I saw that blackboard. The the snap that you sent us. Uh, yeah, I want to get there myself. That's a lot of their own beer. This is, this is like Chris chose this. This it was uh, Tate's and Chris's choice for this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chris chose this one, and I was super stoked because uh, I know we're gonna do beer review after a while. But uh, this is like my top five, top ten favorite beers of all time. Nice, damn, yeah. I just love it. It's a good. Whatever. I'm, gonna I'm not gonna talk about it. We're gonna review. I'm gonna throw it up real quick. I'm gonna throw it up. Yeah, I don't yeah. care about the timing. I'm get just doing it. All right, all right. Yeah, doing it. Uh, fuck you guys. Here we go. No review. <laughs> There it is. More beer, baby. Yeah. Irish red. Irish red. Oh. Walnut River. There it is. Actually, where's the cool guy for brother? <laughs> nice. He's sick. He's sick. I think he's in bed already. Well, no, no. He just shaved his beard. Right yeah, here. He's right, here. Yeah. right here. You, you never seen Jason without a beard? There he is. No, Jason. Uh, Jason's sick tonight. Which you, <laughs> you have to. You have to know he's super sick. He's I know that's the only reason he's watching. <laughs> Cheers, Blake. <laughs> right Thanks here, for liking man. the page. <laughs> Cheers, Blake. Hey, uh, Ashley, are you in? Uh, are you drinking tonight? Man, I totally fucking drew a blank. Uh, Logan, there we go. Are you and Logan <laughs> drinking tonight? I felt like a douche for not even knowing. So, uh, Kara's drinking uh, mm. New Belgium. It's a good. It's the white uh, oh, IPA. Yeah. It's super good. So they're uh, they're seasonal for the winter, essentially. Nice. nice. Yeah, it's good. You going over though? Don't want you. Accumulation. That's a really good beer. We had it on the show. Did we we did it. Yeah. Yeah, we did the we accumulation. That's right. Yeah. 
Yeah, I I picked it a couple weeks before Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> it's good to know everybody's drinking with us, so we don't feel like alcoholics for drinking on Tuesday. <laughs> I, my favorite day now to drink is Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Everybody everybody else has uh, Taco sure. Tuesdays. Fuck Friday. <laughs> fuck Saturday. Yeah. It's all about Tuesday. But we have uh we have Brew Bros Tuesdays. You just messed with my alignment. I got those. Fuck God. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, anybody who is missing Jason, I'm sorry, but this is going to be the, be- the best cast ever. No, <laughs> oh, wait, what? no what did Justin said? Like, having another gone? snake bite? Yeah, because Jason's gone. Do you yeah. see Justin said having another snake bite? Uh-huh. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he drinks Angry Orchard and Guinness mixed together. Him and his dad came up with it or some shit, and he said it's fucking awesome. I haven't tried it yet, but. Angry Orchard and Guinness. Yeah, that's a weird combination. Yeah, that's super strange. I would man. never put that together. So they're doing that. That's their black and gold. I guess. Or well, black, yeah, uh, black and blue kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Six a pack of each, and then mix one and one. And oh, so they don't try to float it. They just mix it straight in. I don't know. I don't know their uh, strategy. I, know, I haven't heard. Of, I haven't heard of any of this. Good. So this is just to so. me. Huh? I'd be down for that. Yeah. Okay. No, that's I, interesting. I haven't I mean, had Guinness like, in a long time. I didn't like it the first time I tried it, but it may be good. Oh, I, love I mean, I'm I love Guinness. Guinness. I love I'm, Guinness. I'm yeah, personally down for always trying new beers. So, like, I've had Guinness and I've had Angry Orchard, but, like, mixing them together, I haven't had. So, that's a new beer. Yeah. Man, you joined, too. What's up, man? Well, normally, you can pull yeah. them, so they're divided. we got a lot of people joining in tonight. Thanks, everybody, for uh, showing up. So, we should pick Guinness, I, or I should pick Guinness sometime for the cast, because, uh, you know, I'm Scottish, so I'm kind of Irish. <laughs> I'm but, Scottish, so I'm kind of Irish. Yeah, I mean, you, you got to imagine that, you know, we bred across island for, for many generations. <laughs> Blake just laughed at you and said, bah, ha, 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 elder. <laughs> twice. Mm. Yeah, that's twice. Oh, oh and Luke's in the Manny shared for us. Uh, thanks for that, dude. Yeah, anytime you guys get a chance to click that share button, do it. party at my house back in the day. God Ju- damn. Julie said the sound is kind of echoey. Huh. Uh, That's weird. Last week we didn't have a problem. Yeah, I don't know why it I didn't move my shit though. Right. So. Oh, you pro- you could have changed the acoustics in the room. Uh, it looks like Jeff's drinking the Modelo. Modelo. Let's try that. Are uh, you drinking uh, Modelo Especial or Negro Modelo? You drinking the dark or the light? The Negro. Nah, I'm all about that Negro. Yeah, Modelo, it's man. good. It's my favorite. <laughs> Damn it, Don always pipes in hey. with that drink more whiskey. Hey, I'm down with whiskey too. Every week, this dude shows up. Hey, drink more whiskey, and then he's out. He just lo- he just wants us to get real drunk off some whiskey, man. Yeah, Blake commented on that going too. So let us know if it's better now. We we just changed something. I was gonna ask how's the audio too. I'm glad somebody said something. Okay. Thanks, Beba. Hmm. And Blake. Wait, I thought he's, yeah, yeah, I thought you were. He said there you go. Blake has Danny. Fixed it. There we go. We're cool. Good. Cool. Oh, yeah. God, you're on you're on point. I'm trying. You man. know what's going on. Chris now. is our guru, guys. Uh, all this that's going on. Obviously, if you haven't noticed, uh, our sponsor that uh, always pays us big money every week. He shipped us out to the big city. Uh, yep. You know we're doing things big. Rouge Bros don't fuck around. We went. We started from the bottom. Now we're here. Right. <laughs> uh, I mean, they flew me out for today. So no, this yeah. is all this is all Chris's <laughs> magic bag, man. Nice town. Chris is uh. Chris is our fucking go-to guy. All right, especially There you go. Taking it easy. Okay, oh. I just appreciate that, man. Damn, do I have another one before? No, yeah, you got to do it. You, gotta <laughs> oh, do you it. got four minutes left. You got to try yeah. to just slam one down. I'm gonna ride my bike home. This is I'm <laughs> riding that bike. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> you just looked me right in I was like, man, should Tate I do looks me one? right in the eyes and goes, "I'm gonna ride my bike home." <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of intimidated. Right. I was. Oh man, I get another one too. Yep. No, I'm like three quarters full. Put that back in the fridge. Yeah. I'm gonna drink that later. Right. <laughs> I'm close. I'm re- I'm ready. I drank that damn brown sugar, and so yeah, I did. He too. said, "Take a drink for bad audio." All right. All right. <laughs> Cheers to that. Oh, oh, we got another one. Mm. Here's to Jason. He said to have a have a toast for me. Oh yeah, he can wait. Oh God, he can wait a sec. (laughs) He said no. For the record, that was uh, that was Chris. I think he went to bed instead of watching us anyway. So. Oh Oh, shit! shit. Uh, Don actually shared our post too. That's badass. Uh, Yeah, I got to share too. Even though we're not drinking whiskey, he still hooked us up. That's awesome, Don. Thank you, man. If you watch us later, if you're still watching. Good boy, buddy. Always remember to uh, don't go outside. Cheers, Luke. Cheers. Always, always remember too, Here's man. To if you guys, uh, if you guys log in, always say a quick hey because we don't always see who's logging in. 
Oh, that's delicious. The way, yeah. face, the way yeah. Facebook works is is if you're not friends with Chris huh? on Facebook, I, I, we don't get a singing name pop up when you come uh, hang out my with dad. us. So what's my up, dad, Brent? My dad really likes uh, it. So always <laughs> give us a quick hey, or just be like, I'm drinking Coors Light. Whatever you're drinking, I don't give a shit. Be, be we drinking. just want you guys hanging out, drinking with us. We won't, we won't be the cool kids at the lunch table, you know. But no. All right. So, uh, anyways, like we said, we got Elder tonight as our guest. Good, uh, good buddy of ours. Works with uh, Chris and I. Um, I don't know. You want to tell us a little bit about yourself or no? <laughs> not, not really. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, not at all. All right. We'll I'll ask you a couple things. Yeah. May, maybe after a few more beers. What's right? your go-to beer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, don't know what to choose at the liquor store. Cast. What do you normally go to? Mine's like um, a Boulevard Weed if I can't decide. Uh, I like I like drinking Guinness. Yeah. Uh, straight go to just a quick in and out just to get some beer. I I'm kind Damn. of a Keystone light guy. But right. yeah, uh, Guinness is kind of heavy after a while. But yeah, I I, I love Guinness. So I love the Stone. Yeah. <laughs> just straight cheap beer. What do you enjoy <laughs> doing? You know, late night. Uh, me and my dad actually we do a lot more of uh, like Don was mentioning the whiskey. So me and my dad we will go with uh, whiskey. We'll do scotch, brandies, bourbons. Uh, so we like to just buy a couple new ones here and there, and then we'll both try them together. Oh, oh so, yeah, yeah. Have you ever had a cognac? So yep, had cognac. Um, my Brent dad and Tom are here. Yeah, my dad's not a big fan of those. Um, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I do what a dick. Damn. <laughs> Get Blake burned. bringing the hate tonight. <laughs> but yeah, so it's 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 something cool, you know. Like we've had most of the crowns that we can get our hand on. Uh, we missed out on the the one they just released, um, the salted caramel. They got some at uh, uh, Speakeasy. They do. They have bottles of it at Speakeasy. Um, but that's kind of something just me and my dad do. Um, <laughs> You know, we'll try a couple different beers, like the one I brought over earlier. Mm -hmm. um, but mainly, our thing that we like to do together is kind of the whiskey and bourbons and things like that. So, I like it. Yeah. I'm a big fan as well. Yeah. I, I get in trouble when I get on liquor. We yeah, might have to do a, a, a bourbon night. Uh, yeah, that man, some bullet. Oh, it's one of my favorites. The bullet. I just love it. You know, uh, like yeah, we did like Knob Creek. We've done that. We've done like I said, all the crowns. We've done uh, like Spaybird. Uh, scotch, so I mean, hey, uh, I'm Jason. Down for a lot. Well, Jason, yeah, he got me a, a bottle. I don't of think I've ever had scotch. I got a big, uh, well, uh, kind of a peat moss scotch, uh, Lafroig or something. I think mm -hmm. from the Isle of Ismay. Oh, it's uh, uh, review time, <clears throat> and it's man, nope. it's peaty. Yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> big flavor. Mm. There we go. Is it review, review time? I got back just in time. You did. All right, Neff, this is your, you said this is one of your favorite beers. Start, Let's start it. off. Have at it. All right, so uh, like I said, this was uh, Chris and Tate's pick for this week. Chris chose the war beard. Uh, we were trying to balance out Chris's or Tate's pick for uh, the later beer. Uh, we just bourbon that on the weekend. Walnut River out of El Dorado, Kansas. So they're close by. They're local, yes. which is fucking awesome. Uh, it's an Irish red, Ooh. which you don't really see a lot of craft brewing companies at least in this area you know brewing something like that yeah. um i tried this for the first time maybe a year ago they started getting on tap around here um and they have it on tap everywhere here in salina pretty much yeah if you guys are from here in salina like a lot of i know a lot of people watching right now are uh you can get this anywhere any bar for the most i think the hideaway even has it and that's a tiny bar they got good taps though dude yeah, yeah. that the hideaway's uh <clears throat> Yeah, it's smooth. Uh, it's got a nice finish to it. A little bit, of, little tart, which I like. It's got that little bit of tart kick on the tip of, your, you know, the the middle tip of your tongue. Uh, man, like I said, this is like one of my top five, top ten beers. So it's a six. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we we have this whole oh man. So all right, so one of our viewers, I'm not I'm not gonna put any names. Uh, we were talking about this, uh, talking about having this beer, and they talked about how it's one of their top favorite beers, and they gave it a six. And I had an argument with them from 9.30 in the morning till 3.30 in the afternoon on how that made no fucking sense. But, uh, you know, to each their own. You guys got your own uh, opinions on shit. Uh, man, I'm going to give this... It's such a good beer. Like, it's so strong. It's so mm. solid. It's so... There's not... There's, I won't say there's anything really extravagant about it. What am I doing? 
there's not like a super like, oh my God, that's the most unique this that I've ever tasted. But I'm going to give this an 8.5. That's big. 8.5. Yeah. Boom. Warped Dude, that in. fade in you did in there was legit. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah, there we go. 8.5 oh. from Neff. Elder, what you think, man? Uh, definitely a good a good red beer. Um, again, me and my dad sample things here and there. I would agree with Neff. It's definitely it's definitely clean, smooth finish. Um, the taste of it's just it's really good on the tongue. Um, I definitely probably for the first time having this, I'd probably for myself, I'd probably give it a, like an eight at least. So, boom. Yeah, awesome. it's it's really good, and I'll definitely be buying more of this. So. You can get it. I mean, I think every liquor store in town has it too. If you get it, six pack can eight ninety nine. Your basic six pack of crafts. Uh, yeah, that's pretty well yeah, standard. Yeah, that's awesome. Sometimes they're sixteen ninety nine for four packs. Did we say uh, uh, as far as percentage and stuff too? Did we end that up? It's a five five. Five five percent. Uh, I thought it was a six five for some reason, but I thought it, no, it doesn't say IBUs on the can though, so. Well, I promise you the IBUs can't be fucking high. They're not crazy high. Yeah. It's like 55. Yeah, maybe, maybe less. lower. Yeah. But, yeah. And then and at a 5.5, five, you can get like two six packs of this and just get snockered on your own with 12 beers, you know? Yeah, like, they go down real so, slow. I mean, what, we're each, what, three in? Yeah. So. How many times have you guys partied in El Dorado? Never. Never? Never. Twice. We had a party house in El Dorado. <laughs> Did uh, you? Yeah, it's on Thompson Street. Man, <laughs> what, 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 when, what, what, like, basis? Uh, this was uh, 07 to 08. Well, no, 06 to 08, yeah. Uh, what? Some of the, my... On what street? So, um, I can't um, remember the name of the street, man. Uh, I might have partied in your party house, Thomas Jake. Street House is what it was. Uh, that's, where my, uh, that's where Teresa lived. Uh, and uh, when she was going to Butler. And I was, yeah. like, 17 come up and party at this uh, college house and fun. How big is the uh, town? I know it's kind El, of a suburb of which town, It's a decent size. It's not huge, but... 30,000 people? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. about. I mean, it's not as big as Salina, but, I mean, it, they got some big industries. I played soccer there when I was a I mean, having, college, the, having the Butler school there... Yeah, they got a community college. Because it's, like, one of the big... It's one of the top NC 2A schools, like, kind yeah. of shit, like... I would say a stable 30,000 people, but... They have an influx of students that come and go. Yeah. 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 But I farted in El Dorado, so I, li I like <laughs> drinking El Dorado beer. Uh, I'm down for that. Yeah, man. I We need to get to that brewery I, sometime, this too. This is one of my favorite beers we've had on the show. Really? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Even, gonna steal the show. even with the sours. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like, I like the artwork. I like the smoothness. I think that's the word of the beer is smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you, you can all their cans too. Like very if you smooth. if you go in and you see the you see Walnut River on the shelf, you know which mm -hmm. cans are theirs because they have a very, a very uh, like unique their own can Distinct. style. There's but then style. like yeah. between yeah. each one, you can tell which is which. Yeah. But like, yeah. And I did. I dug the can too. It was it's pretty pretty so, cool. Yeah. Like it's simple but still mm -hmm. complex. I like everything about it. I, I think you can drink it in the winter or summer and enjoy yep. it. Oh, yeah. Temperature doesn't matter. You can have it in the pool, drink it in the fucking snow, whatever. It. I'm going to go with a nine. This is a solid fucking beer. Nice. God. I feel like Luke, I, Luke says it's hard to believe the brewery is here. He's there right now. As we're giving these reviews, <laughs> this he's is, sitting inside the place that made this beer. one of my favorite Kansas beers. Yeah. And it's not heavy. Easy. No. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's, one of my top yeah, five it's, beers it's of all just, time. Yeah. Smooth, and I haven't mm -hmm. went piss yet. Uh, I will soon, but <laughs> three or four down, it's like, wow. Mm -hmm. I hate to jump on a bandwagon. Oh! A bandwagon. It, no, do it. This is my second favorite Kansas beer uh, that I can recall at this moment. After Roller Chain? No, uh, it's before Roller Chain. Awesome. Uh, after just the Boulevard Wheat. Yeah. Boulevard okay. Wheat okay. has been Solid. like a standard that I've drank yeah. for years. I, you can't that's, replace and that's it. That's a good beer. Uh, the un, yeah, the unfiltered wheat. But this one, this is good. Uh, and the fact that it's brewed in Kansas, in El Dorado, down that, you know. Yeah. Is it <laughs> We're like an hour and a half away. Right? Oh. An hour and a half from us, this beer is being made. And the color? The color's great. Oh, yeah. Uh, the uh, <laughs> the can. This is like an OG, what, like 0. .6? Probably? Pretty close. 
OG, 1.6 probably is what you're thinking, yeah. Uh, I don't know, Corn, did you? But the artwork, the artwork is, is solid as well. messages don't come through on that app. Oh. But uh, when I first started listening to the Neff give it a rating, I was thinking, yeah, it's an 8. Uh, and like I think, yeah. the, I think the artwork pulls it up a half point because I would be like normally reserved and say like a seven five, but I, I'm feeling, oh. I'm, I'm feeling uh generous today and it's from Kansas, so uh, I'll give it an eight. Hell yeah, there you go. and that's high for I think. Let's give a eight, this eight, is one five, of yeah eight eight nine. This is like one of the highest yes. review beers we've had. Cheers to that, boys. Definitely Cheers, good. definitely the highest. And I know Jason's a fan. So. Luke's got a comment saying, he's "Yeah, I saw that." Tab, I was gonna say, everybody want to do one of these to the camera for Luke, but <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to have one of these off tap over there, Luke, did especially did right from the right, Luke right from beer. It, Yeah. Saturday, Corum did. Oh, he said Warhead. Warhead. He had yeah, don't order a warhead from them. They will kick you out. <laughs> I haven't had that. I wanted to like talk shit on Luke, but I've talked a little too much shit on him. <laughs> Over the past months. <laughs> Since episode, what, three? This is Luke's worst. <laughs> God, I fucking he did just say guy. he was going to order a warhead from <coughs> the place that makes warbeard. So he's earned it. So fucking he's, he's auto-correct. <coughs> oh, yeah. yeah, auto-correct, auto-correct. my ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, auto- warbeard might auto-correct the warhead. Yeah, that's Maybe. possible. Yeah. Mm. No, but I am super jealous, Luke, that you're there right now, that man. A great beer. I absolutely want to get there like it's soon really for sure. I, I've never been there, so I'm jealous. Yeah, I haven't been either. Did you fly there? Yeah, he's he a had pilot. to. He had to be on a plane somewhere, right? Right. Maybe he flew into Wichita and. Or maybe there's a small the airport around there, like. I don't know if Eldorado has an airport or not. He's been autocorrect. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> don't say sorry to me. Say sorry to the bartender that's yeah. going to beat your ass for ordering a warhead. <laughs> right. She just throws a handful of candy at him. Like, she just go. fucking pummels him with a pipe. Mm. But no, man. Like I said, I'm super jealous. Oh, uh, I want to get there some point, too. Anybody else who's uh, joined us here recently, yeah, always uh, say, hey, what's up, something, let us know what you're drinking. Oh, the new one? We don't always get to see who uh, pipes in, but we want to always give you guys a shout out. Uh, we wouldn't do this if nobody, if nobody viewed all, in, all week, we wouldn't do this. So, like, it's awesome that you guys are here. We appreciate you guys. Uh, also, click like on the page. Uh, share the video so your friends can come watch us get drunk. This is the one I'm looking for. The more, the more people that can watch us get drunk, the better off. Because then we have an excuse for doing it. <laughs> I mean, what what else you got going on on Tuesday? Yeah. Uh, Just click the share button real quick. You don't even have to write the post. There's a share now button. Click share, share now. You don't even have to say shit about us. You can pretend like you didn't even know you did it. Even like, if what you did say I these guys are fucking idiots. Yeah. It helps. Yeah, write the post. <laughs> hey, be like, hey, you want to watch four dumb shits get real drunk? I'd take that, as long as you're sharing it. I love it's it. not inaccurate. Uh, We're getting drunk on a Tuesday. We can't be that smart. <laughs> Club going up on a <laughs> Tuesday. There you go. <laughs> no, but we, we always appreciate everybody who joins in and watches us. Uh, it's a great time. So like I said, always give a shout out as soon as you get here. This is my favorite day Just of the a week. quick hey. I never Tuesday? thought I would like Tuesdays. I can't remember what it was that Jason said. Like last week, like last cast of the cast before, it was like everybody else has Taco Tuesdays. But we have something else Tuesdays, and I can't remember what it was that he fucking said. Me either. Sometimes it turns into Taco Tuesday, but it's just, uh, <laughs> yeah. like it's uh, ponchos <laughs> at, uh, you know, 10. Tipsy yeah. Tuesday, maybe. We can't do it without him, though, so we can't do nah, it this week. Nah, he's way better than that. It was, it was really turnt creative. Tuesday, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll do ponchos next week. Right. Yeah. That sounds good. God, that's delicious. <laughs> Last time we had ponchos all together, that was a good time. It was. I don't feel like the Poncho's crew thought it was, but we did. They never, they, they're <laughs> never entertained by us. I don't get that. Cause That's because so you loud. and Jason argued back and forth for five minutes on <laughs> who wanted fucking crispy bean That's burritos. That's an exaggeration of the truth. <laughs> okay, four one. minutes. Sorry, not five. Oh, I'm a dog head. You got, you got, you got them now. They're like, I was like, I ain't working Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Motherfuckers are fighting about who has to work Tuesdays right. because of us. Like, I'm not doing me early, sun. please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Luke, uh, if you're still on, man, did you uh, did you fly into Wichita and make the way over? Are you, are you doing something work wise, or did you just happen to say fuck it? I'm gonna go down and check out this awesome brewery. I'm kind of curious. Uh, like I said, also extremely jealous. But oh yeah, 
Also, uh, everybody else, uh, whatever you're drinking, that's cool. But what else? What else does everybody else got going on? Molly, what's up? Molly just joined. Uh, she also works with Chris and I. Elder knows Molly. Yep, that's right. What's up, Molly? Get all red. Yeah. I don't think Blake said if he was drinking anything or not. Oh. No, I haven't seen anything from Blake. I wonder if he's drinking or anything. Uh, Molly, you drinking tonight? You drinking some Crown Apple? Drinking some Crown? Crown Apple? Probably not. She had a work tomorrow. Oh. Hello. My buddy Mutt. Yep, go all chew. I'm just so excited Back about my couch. next beer. I'm gonna go ahead and get it out. Yeah. Watch it be horrible. No, I don't. Oh, stop man. it! I don't think. Stop so. it! I'm kidding. <laughs> I fucking hope it's not. <laughs> I got, I got a lot of expectations on this right now. Nah, man, it's gonna be good. Twelve percent, bro. Hey, give me this one, one of those ones that you don't trophy, shake the fuck out of. But, I mean, uh. A coffee oh, yeah. vanilla porter. It's very little shake. Can I get one of those? Barrel aged. Is this for me? Yeah. And that's yeah, the other thing. I'm definitely, I'm really stoked about this next one. This one takes the trophy oh, yeah. from the dragon. Molly says, what's up, guys? At least because my job is Hey, Molly. Oh, oh shit. Look at that. Nice. What's up? Diet Pepsi. Well, that's uneventful, but to each their own. I'm rinsing. Anybody need rinse? Damn uh, no, I'm not, I'm like not ready. I'll take a rinse. Yep. I'm not ready. Not ready. Just in case there's a little bit of settlement in there, I want to get it mixed up. You're premature, <sighs> as usual. <laughs> oh, here he opened it too. Man. So, uh, what, what are right, besides, uh, besides yeah. drinking, what else? What else you got going, Elder? Oh, yeah. I'm not good on that, but uh, yeah, not a whole lot, man. So, oh, Jesus. That barrel aged, you can smell it in yeah, there. I'm definitely Ooh. just focused on this next one. <laughs> Holy shit! All right, so uh, everybody—it smells amazing. Who didn't uh, read the intro or the uh, title of the video? Uh, the next beer of the night is Ballast Points uh, High West. Awesome, thank you. Victory yeah. at Sea. Uh, Chris was actually notifying us that there's a there's a they normally have a Victory at Sea, uh, but it's like a, a weaker alcohol no. percentage and stuff like that. It's not uh, it's not aged as long. Right. But this is the High West version. Uh, it's 12.5 percent. It was Everybody's my pick. Fucking insane. This was fucking. It was my pick. Tate's pick. What did? What did uh, you pick? I will say you. I will say this. If you want to go pick it up, maybe pick up a single first because it's uh 16.99 a four pack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These things are like 4.49 a piece. Yeah. But it's it's uh it's 16.99 for four beers. But I so mean cheaper like, than going to a bar. But I was gonna say, and also True. alcohol percentage True. wise. That four pack is gonna get you fucked, so. So oh, easily. Yeah. Ride my bike home. So yeah, so take that into consideration. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, we've had <laughs> it's some, happening. We've had some other. We've had some other ballast point on the show, haven't mm -hmm. we? Do we have a sequence yet? Uh, uh, I think. No, that's a dogfish head. Oh uh, yeah, it's dogfish. We head, yeah. we have had a ballast point. I don't remember what the name of it is, but yeah. I know we have. Uh, these guys make these guys make great beers. Ballast point does. I will say. Uh, as far as like if you're going to pick them up at the liquor store, Ballast Point is usually a little bit pricier than others. Mm -hmm. I think them and Sierra Nav Sierra Nevada, Nevada kind of yeah. uh, throw a little bit higher price point on their beers, but they also make really good fucking beers. They're out so, of San Diego, ooh, damn. Yeah, yeah. So they're out of California. Amazing. So yeah, expensive. Thanks, yeah. California. But this is the man version of the uh, Victory at Sea. Mm. That's what we're gonna try to uh, slam oh, down in front of you guys. In 13 minutes, and uh, see if we make it to work tomorrow. Is that that opener? No, yeah. it's not good. It's like the Loco Loco. Fuck me. You going for a rinse? Oh, I am. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and let Ooh, it breathe. Oh yeah. God. This smell? Oh, some of that. Yeah. Oh, 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 man. <laughs> you can. It, it, it smells like the KBS. Oh man, it's stronger than that KBS Jesus. though for sure. I can tell. All right, I gotta go wash mine out. Oh. Are you rinsing yours? Yeah, I'm rinsing. Wanna rinse <clears throat> Your left hand. Thanks. Sir. Left hand. Left hand. Woo. Uh, Woo. It's gonna be hard to not talk about that. <laughs> for, uh, 13, minutes. 13 more minutes. What yeah, else we got? This, this definitely. Um. Uh. Yeah. Saturday. Actually, why don't you bring up uh. Your weekend. You yeah, got your weekend coming yeah. up, brother. Saturday, we're going to this place. <clears throat> My 
wife, my mom, and I will be here oh. Saturday when K State shows up. To get their Field House, booked. baby. My first time ever going. My mom's first time ever going. Julie's first time ever going. I cannot fucking wait. KU versus K State this Saturday. It's uh, it's an earlier game. It's gonna be fucking awesome. Yep, 11, 11 a.m. start time. Chris's <sighs> mom is a huge KU basketball fan. Chris and I, uh, which kind of kind of sucks. We're big KU uh, basketball fans, but a lot of their games are on on Tuesdays nights. Yeah. So we either have to like catch the end of it, know, or we have to catch it after. Dope. But uh, no, man. Uh, I was telling them I made it. I made it to a game last year, the year before. Yeah. And it was one of those bow dunk teams, but like. Even the atmosphere there was fucking phenomenal. So I can't even imagine what's going to happen during oh, this game wow. with the K-State-KU rivalry. Yeah. I'm jealous. It's going to be a good show. We bought my mom tickets for... Oh, yeah. Shameless plug coming. Check out the podcast. Come. <laughs> a part of the Broke Dude podcast on iTunes. Same post. Oh, oh, yeah, wow. dude. Plug it up. Yeah, we're good with <laughs> that, Blake. I, like, I should have <laughs> fucking <laughs> gave you a shout-out anyways since you liked our page and yeah. dropped in. Check Absolutely. this guy out on uh, SoundCloud. They've got Broke Dude Podcast. They're uh, going to transition into video this year, I think, and kind of do uh, pop culture type funny ass. Go check them out. They're hilarious. They've been doing it for like a year or two couple years i think yeah it's been a while yeah yeah i was yeah. talking to him about it uh after you told me about it i was like no fucking way and then uh uh we checked it out fuck yeah warbeard on tap is amazing. <laughs> i can't imagine straight from fucking the brewery there that's awesome dude uh but yeah no uh blake was telling me about it and uh our chris was telling me about blake being on one i was like no shit so i went and asked him about it and he was talking to me about it and they've been doing it for a while now yeah rock chuck oh. damn it but yeah, yeah. It figures uh, though I'm the year jealous. the year I actually go they suck ass. Compared, what co- compared to other years, they've nah, lost. man, they've lost some bullshit. They've games. lost some bullshit games, but we also have a really young team. Yeah, true. <laughs> this just, is this isn't a weird. sports ball channel. It's just weird. Yeah, we're not sports <laughs> guys. So uh, there we go, rock chalk. Have you guys Justin tried this yet? Yes. You guys already uh, drank. Oh, I, oh, I did. Bitches. I've taken a few. I've been. Fucking bitches. No, I, no, I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. It always smells so good, Ooh. but so strong. Yeah, and we got. Jesus. Oh, man. <laughs> ten, this ten is why I left. said. This is why I said do this second. Because if we were to drink in this first, yeah. there's no way. Man. There's no way. Second beer would have came up and we're like, I uh, don't know where I'm at. Like, it's fucking uh, done. Yeah. Where yeah. am I again? Yeah. Oh. But no, that's awesome. Uh, I'm but glad you guys are getting a chance to experience Olive Field House. That's fucking we awesome. bought my mom oh. tickets for her 51st yeah. birthday. Her birthday's on Christmas, so. Julie was... posted that video of her opening the gift, and I almost cried. Yeah, she was. Really? My yeah. mom was tore up about it. Yeah, she, uh, Jody started crying when when she opened it and saw what it was and stuff. I'm like, it had me tearing up, man. I had to stop watching it. Julie, I, I actually wife, like, texted Julie, and I was like, you're a bitch. My wife like, had a <laughs> box, and she put. A gift in it with a rock wrapped in that and then open another box and there was chalk attached to another gift which the chalk was wrapped too so she opened the chalk and rock chalk like, rock <laughs> chalk what the fuck but the rock she opened she's like what the fuck is this a book weight or paperweight yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then yeah. the chalk came and she's like oh god open the next one as a ticket and she just fucking lost it yeah Dang. like she op- she opens it you can see it on she's the been wanting she to go opens forever. it and you can see her just start tearing up and she's like what <laughs> and I got lost Aww. it dude K yep. versus K State dude that's, that's pretty yeah game. that'll be I mean I haven't cool. known Jody for a no. long time but she's so, always been a sweet when, fucking when lady go, so when like, you go to Allen Field cool. House when you're sitting there at the very beginning before the game starts when uh, they're just doing this intro vid when they have Mario's Miracle and they got just the history yeah. of KU Chalmers. Uh, Fear the Fog, you know, all that shit. Yeah. Strobe lights are going, the Jumbotron's running, and I'll tell you, I don't know what it, what happens, It's but it happens to What's everybody. What's up, Jeremy? And the electricity in the room changes, and your hair everywhere on your body stands on fucking end. Your arms, your it's neck. It's crazy, man. Everybody says they get goosebumps. 
You, oh, you get goosebumps like and it's your just, whole body. And no, oh, and then your adrenaline starts fucking. Awesome. <laughs> it's and it's then you're crazy, like, dude. Get care, you, bro. You know, you, just, you get it. You get the fucking. It, it uh, does, the, man. The fever. It's a fever. It does. It's nuts, man. Hey, Jeremy, what you drinking on tonight? I know yep. you're drinking what something. up, Jeremy? We all. Uh, I uh, I shared your uh, grapefruit rattler uh, with quite a few people. Yeah, that was fucking good. It's very good. I like uh, how smooth it was for. Uh, a juicier type drink. Super juicy. Very grapefruity, but what is I, it? I liked it. That, that tricycle. That tricycle. Grapefruit. Okay. I'll have to yeah. try it. It was really good. It's like a three five. Yeah. Weaker beer but uh, smooth and yeah. tasty. Yeah. Tasty. Yep. You can slam down for the summer for sure. That's it's yeah, like I, grapefruit. I, I, you have to like grapefruit drink. though, because it's very grapefruit. Yeah. I could chug that yeah. thing in like two seconds, I bet. Yeah. I would like agree a, though, it definitely would be more of like a summer type thing. Like one of the like the the summer shandies, like a lemonade sick. beer. Yeah, It'd be yeah, like on sick. that, so. Yep. Oh, cool. Umami? Cool. Umami <laughs> ale and nine point eight. Or nine point eight. I'm just like, move my cup. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> Those happen every once in a while. Umami? <laughs> I mean, like, what kind of point. ale is an umami ale? I don't know. What is that? You know? No, I don't. Umami, umami ale. Yeah, it might just be what it's called. Here in town. I mean, it might just be a. It might just be <laughs> the a restaurant. They call it. Julie, <laughs> you eat there? I have. I'm not eating there. Yeah, I got a red dragon. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. Well, I think I think umami ale is just in the name of the ale. It's probably just. No, but I don't know what kind of a scotch ale. It's a taste. It's a taste. Would a scotch ale be a 9.0? That's a pretty high percentage for an That's ale. Big. Yeah. Big. Yeah. I haven't tried this yet. Show us right, man. No, I mean the smell. Dig was, in. I mean the smell is. Dig in. Can't talk about too Just much. Just go for it. Dig in. Yeah, you need. It's to like hit I'm it. like I'm like that kid at the pool that's still dipping his toe. I don't no, know no, if I no. want to jump in. Just hit it. God damn. Don't be man. a pussy, dude. It's... Put it in your mouth. Yeah. Ugh. Hey Molly, if you're still on here, if I don't make it to work tomorrow, I'm sorry. Get a pallet full. <laughs> What's up, Topher? You still on here, man? <laughs> that's awesome. What's up, buddy? Uh, Topher's is the bassist in my band. Yeah, I know. Yep, he's a good that. dude, man. We were playing stumps. Yeah, yeah. we played stumps together. Hell yeah, we did. He's fun to hang out with. He's a good dude. Uh, Funny as shit. Net, really what, nice. How about some ambiance or very low key? Yeah, I got you, man. We'll get some music going. Absolutely, get out of here. dude. We can <laughs> get out of here. I got dude. a toy. You know that? <laughs> that toy just showed up in my backyard. We just did found it? it one day. That or the neighbors threw it to him. I don't okay. Know. But I hmm. thought it was turds, because it was sitting in the backyard like this. Green. <laughs> green and line. I saw like, this, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Is that that jogger? That was no, a big fucking go. dog. <laughs> big fucking dog. Then I go out there, and I'm like, oh, it's a weird turtle. <laughs> yeah, okay. right? Definitely a weird turtle. <laughs> it looked like a big-ass pile of dog shit, but it was by my door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's You're awesome. Doing the back <laughs> Four minutes till I can say something about this beer. I know. Must that four this, minutes is dragging. It, that's where I'm at. Like I want to talk about it. I was so bad. instant. <laughs> yeah, me too. But mm. I'm kind of not. This um, is oh, I almost talked about it. It was that close. Hmm. <sighs> What's up, dude? Nothing. Good. What else we got? Woo! Uh, I saw something about Anderson Cooper, wherever the fu- whatever the fuck he is, some kind of <laughs> news anchor, news guy that thinks he's important, yep. saying he walked AC out. AC three sixty. He walked out of uh, the Last Jedi, and the headline just hit today. So it's like, who gives a fuck what you think about the movie when you didn't see it the opening week? <sighs> yeah, it's definitely right. been long like enough. you just saw it today so, or yesterday or last yeah. night, and you walked out. Who gives a fuck about yep. you? Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, that's old news. Yeah. Yeah, it would be. But Anderson Cooper... That's like me watching it next year and going, oh, I bought the DVD, but I turned it off halfway through. Anybody care? Not really. <laughs> See? <laughs> Why I enjoyed fuck? the movie. What was his reason for walking out? I didn't even read into it. I saw the headline, and I'm like, yeah, fuck that guy. Yep. <laughs> You're just now watching it? Fuck you. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm going to have to Google it later to see, opinion? because it, it was a good movie. I liked it, but it was very slow, and not a lot happened. No, it was... More, more or less just building up. It's like exactly. It was a segue movie. Yes, yes. definitely. Oh, and to definitely. be fair, it well, has to fine. deal with, it has to compete with my favorite of any of the, from the original trilogy, any movie that's been released after that, 
My favorite movie that's been released after the original trilogy, Rogue One. Rogue One. You can't beat it. It was, it was a good amazing. fucking Rogue film. One was very good. You knew what was going to happen at the end. And I'm you knew the ending of that, that movie, and it was still amazing all the way through. Yes. The Darth Vader scene yes. at the very end. The very end. And it that leads that's into... The dark, that's the Darth Vader I wanted to see. He's in, in the Wars. dark. And all of a sudden, Man, that, that made red the movie light says, yes. It did. <laughs> no, but then it leads into... And you hear yeah. the sound. Yeah. Yeah. You hear the sound. You hope. Man. Seriously. And it yeah. was just... Before it goes right into the, the oh, oh my god, god. yeah oh, it killed me. and also no. it showed him okay it's like no and this is what this is what some people don't understand <coughs> Darth Vader's standing on the edge of that ship watching the ship float away yes. he's in space he's standing on the edge of that ship <laughs> all the walls are blown the fuck open he's standing on the edge of space watching that happen and you're like we finally get to see Darth Vader be the fucking badass that he is yes exactly yes. like he fuck, is like Throwing dudes against the wall. Yeah. Fucking you, shit up. They have I'm the standing fear. up because I'm fucking excited. Like, it was so now, fucking dope, man. Yeah. And we're this yeah. excited about Rogue One, and we saw it how long ago? Last Jedi? Yeah. Nobody that's so yeah. It was a good movie. It, it was still a good movie, but though. It was a segue movie. So I and I wanted Finn to die. It was. It was very long. There was a lot of just low moments I where Finn I'm just die. like, come right. on, man. I wanted Finn to die. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Dang. I did. I kind of did too. He's my least was, favorite new character. It was so dramatic, and it was like, "Oh my god, he's going, he's going." No, no. But no, he's he's, he's not thing. going by some other meaningless everything character. That saving ca- him. Everything yeah. that Finn does as a character is just some like weird fucking joke character. Like he doesn't yeah. serve any fucking purpose. He doesn't. Uh, there's no. See you later, Chrome Dome. I'm like, what is this? The fucking 1980s? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Like, I don't, I don't get it. I do not understand Finn's character, and maybe that's just me. But I do not understand his character as a whole. And I wanted him to fucking die. But Rogue One was a one-off. There won't be. A What's up, Pat? No, How you doing, brother? No oh my god! All right, Eric, Pat. Not. This is one of my oldest because friends. They, they were filling uh, in. They were filling. What's in up, up, bud? Thanks for joining <laughs> in tonight, man. Oh. Keep that feet away from all the walls. <laughs> but they were it's filling in my a hands story violently. from the old. Yeah. And I mean, they Free they just hope. they just jumped right into it. Free new hope. Yes, that's right. And if they if they would have done maybe. Something before then they could have, but since they just yeah. just right into it, Another that's it. Prequel, yeah, and that movie, Rogue yeah, they did it. They did a great job on that movie, yeah. definitely. Rogue One was fucking phenomenal. Dude. Yes, very. Uh, the next standalone is supposed to be Han Solo movie. Yes, they are doing a Han Solo that. movie, that. so yeah. that'll be exciting to kind of see, man. He does that. Uh, what is it? Five second parsec. Yeah, twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Twelve second parsec. Made, 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 the, ke- made the Kessel the run. Yeah. Made the yeah. Kessel run in twelve parsecs. Yeah. yeah. So. So uh, everyone, uh, everyone uh, thinks it's fifteen. He's like, Fuck, no. <laughs> Eric, are you drinking tonight? What are you? Uh, Eric, actually, uh, shh, shh, nerds. What's up? <laughs> my uh, my uh, oh, hometown, good old Abilene, Kansas. Uh, oh, Eric actually uh, works yeah. at the liquor store there in town. He actually tried the uh, the dark uh, the dark other mm. before I did. Uh, Here we go. If you're drinking tonight, let us know what you're drinking, brother. Here we go. No, no messing around there now. It's happening. Let's get it. Slow pl- fade, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let's just do a cheer. Dallas Point, cheers. Wherever you are. Sa- San Diego, you probably yeah. hate us, but whatever. No, but well I'm done. Mid- I'm, mid- I'm Midwest, boys. So, uh... Holy start? shit, this beer, man. Yeah. We went this way one way, we'll, we'll hit it the other way. Yeah. Yeah. Man, this beer is complex on a lot of levels. It really is. Uh, you know, it, it reminds me in ways of the uh, the Founders KBS. Yep. But it's just not, it's more balanced. And it's not, I, I mean, maybe I'm just more used to it now, uh, to this, this style of a, like a barrel-aged beer. Yeah. But this one does not seem nearly as just like... As radical, radical, or whatever the word is, uh, just it doesn't. It, it's 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 better done. It's it's more well done. You know, okay. this is a yeah. I saw that. It's delicious. Uh, that when you get that barrel aged flavor. Oh, like uh, is that absolutely. bourbon barrels? Do you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it yeah. tastes like. Yeah. I, I uh, get more of the bourbon than I do the rye. Yes, absolutely. So, I mean, so just a uh, 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 just jump back. This is a ballast point. High West, Barrel Aged, Victory at Sea. Which is too, if you guys go to get that Victory at Sea, the High West is what we're drinking tonight. 
They have one that's just victory at sea, and it's not as strong. It's a 12% alcohol. Yeah. The other uh, one's not as, like, yeah. it's a lower percentage. I think it's aged less. So, like, make sure you get the good shit. Get that high west. And at the very bottom, oh, they yeah. say Spend it's, the extra money. Get the high west. It's an uh, Imperial Porter with coffee mm. and vanilla flavors. Aged in high west bourbon and rye barrels. Yep. Uh, and, oh, man. Prepare your palate for uh, what's coming. Oh, and yeah. if you're going to drink other beer that night... Drink that first, and then transition to this, because it is a, uh, it'll just hit you in the face. Yeah. But, uh, let me, let me do one more here. Don, if you're still on, I'm, I'm going to definitely say you're going to probably like this beer. It's oh, yeah. Yeah. definitely got some good, some good flavor in there. Mm. Yeah, this is, this is my still. favorite, uh, ba uh, barrel aged beer I've ever had. I'm gonna. So I gave it an eight earlier, right? Yeah. I'm gonna or, do a. Yeah. I'm gonna do a, a a duo, an eight and an eight. All right. Cheers, Ballast Point. Yeah. <laughs> You're neff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what's up, man. I tell you. Yeah, I picked this beer. I picked it. A two Tate eight. <laughs> Two take eight. It's a good beer. It's a good beer. It's oh you know, yeah, it's very. I, saw, good. I mean, and the, when I saw the label, it was there was no hesitation. I'm like, oh my god, oh, yeah. I have to get that. Right. It's the victory at sea. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really dig the artwork that they chose on that. Well, and, and our our beers tonight are the victory at sea and the war beer. Yep. This is Vikings <laughs> man fucking beers. coming across <laughs> conquesting. Man you know, beers, we're dude. coming. <laughs> Fucking I'm man beers. not as excited about it as I was before I drank it. <laughs> Let me be the guy that's not digging it. It's very liquor tasting, and I'm I'm not big on liquor. That's just my my taste. It the vanilla is very potent. Mm -hmm. I like that flavor. The bourbon flavor, not so much. I. I don't like that on my, in my beard. This is almost, almost a beer that I want to say it's 24 proof rather than saying it's 12 percent alcohol beer. It's big. It's it's very it's big. very strong. Extremely, and yeah. I don't mind it, but I'm not ex as excited as I was before I tried it. It smelled great. Once I tasted it, I was like, "Holy fuck, that's strong." <laughs> this is definitely not. This is like the way in game for craft beer if you're like trying to get into it. Sixteen ninety nine a four pack. Sixteen yeah. ninety nine for yeah. four. De definitely have to like uh, your bourbons, your whiskeys, your ryes. Yes. Uh, for and not which I do, which is probably why uh, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I'm gonna give this a five. All right. Damn. Fair enough. Fuck it. I, I like the artwork. Right. Ruthless. Uh, I do have to say, if anyone from, anyone from Ballast Point is watching this, your QC department needs work because these labels are all fucking crooked. <laughs> Bro, three out of three and, bottles. Yes, this this is very true. They are slanted. All of them are slanted the same way. Yeah. What? what Not my yep, same yeah, Which you guys are better. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Uh, I agree. Mine's the same way. Yes, yes they are. Slanted to the right. Get your shit together. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> give me a, you give a fuck how the fucking late? It's not on perfect. It drives me nuts. Well, give me a fucking break. Oh. It's super crooked, though. Hey, me, I'll come put fucking labels on straight for you. No, uh, that's... that's <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm how I am. Uh, yeah. I accept you. Accept it or fuck off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I give it a five. It's... It's a very dark, strong beer. It's almost a liquor. Yeah. I mean, you can't deny yeah. it's almost a liquor. It's yes. almost a liquor. And yeah. 12, uh, five? Com coming off of that note, yeah, at, at 12%, um, I mean, the, the color, it's nice and dark. As, as immediately when you open it, you just, you catch the aroma. And if you've ever, if you've ever had any bourbons or any ryes or anything like that, that that's definitely what's, what hits your nose immediately as you open it and when you take a drink you definitely get the the coffee and the vanilla taste that's in there it's got uh definitely got a smooth like 
a smooth, subtle taste. And for me, being a guy that enjoys whiskeys, bourbons, and rice and things like that, I was super stoked about this beer. And um, I'm, I'm definitely, I, I, I would definitely give it a nine. And this is definitely nice. something I'm, I'm going to buy continuously. And, uh, I mean, I, I, I honestly can't say anything bad about it. I, I enjoy it. The artwork's good. The taste is good. The smell's good. The name's and awesome. Th- yeah, the name. The name alone, I was just like, I was like, dang, dude. I was like, this, <laughs> this beer your, this beer comes with it. Makes your heart start pounding. Yeah. But, dude, I mean, look I, at I, that, dude. Yeah, I can't even <laughs> that, see. Yeah, light. You can't, you can't see, see through it. Nothing. At all. No, it is nothing doable. at all. Oil. And oh shit! No, I didn't. Yeah, it's just it's oh, just sorry, black. You. And oh. if if you enjoy if you enjoy your whiskeys and mixed drinks, I mean, this is definitely a beer I would recommend. I mean, oh. it, it it is literally on the verge of just being, I, I a mixed just drink. A, a mixed drink. Yeah, a strong mixed drink. Yeah, it's, it's it's hard to even say it's a beer. It's just it's for me for me I I enjoy this beer, and I will be buying this again definitely. Good review, man. Yeah. I'd no. say like so he's on a nine. Mm-hmm. Nine. Cool. Damn. So yeah, this, this is really good. This is your last beer of the evening, though. This is your finishing beer. Yeah. yeah. In my opinion. Absolutely. Right? And, and, and I, gonna... have, I haven't had enough to see if it's if it's really heavy. I haven't I haven't gotten that heavy gut feeling from it yet. And I'm I'm almost completely done with the one. Mm-hmm. And I've already had three of the uh, the war the war beards as well, but. Um, yes, I, I would definitely say if, if 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 you plan on drinking other beers, I would agree drink this last because this will overtake any other beer that you're trying It'll to slam drink your after that. Yeah, yep. it, 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 it'll It'll definitely be it. too much. But if you're just drinking this solid for the night, you like he said, like the four pack will probably be enough. <laughs> so you, yeah. you you'll be good. Yep, I'd be amazed uh, to see somebody even two would be pretty. Uh... I could finish two. Whether I, I go to three, though, that would be the question. Yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, that's just it. I don't know, yeah, man. Coming in at 12. All right, so this was uh, this was Tate's pick of the week, uh, obviously. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> no, uh, this is... It was it's, a label. It's, it's a good, strong, fucking solid beer. Uh, man, if you're going barrel age, I agree with Tate. As far as barrel age beers, uh, that, uh, that Founders, the Kentucky Breakfast... That's cool. a really good barrel aged beer. This one, like you said, it's a, it's a well rounded version of that. Uh, what are you doing, boy? No, man, I don't know. Don't it's strong. It's potent. Oh yeah. Don't try to don't try to fucking drink anything after this. Uh, this yeah. is gonna finish your night, like everybody was saying. But uh, yeah. the vanilla though, it's balanced. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, the vanilla, yeah. like throughout. I've had others where I'm just like. Mm, uh, it's like subtle. It's too much. Yeah, this vanilla is just enough without being too much. Yep. It's got a, it's got a little bit of a good coffee kick too, though. Yeah. Yeah. You can. Here's the thing, though. Like a, a lot of times when you get those barrel aged, rye aged, uh, casket barrel stuff, you lose a lot of that original flavor. You really do. Oh, uh, this the one beer. Yeah. Yeah. This one you they start artificially yeah. flavoring it and it loses that barrel flavor. Mm-hmm. But this, Asian like, this, shit. like, you have, I can taste that coffee and vanilla note when yep. they brewed this beer. Absolutely. It's and then done, you get that, that heavy rye bourbon flavor done afterwards. well, I just don't prefer it. That's yeah. why right. I give it a five. Yeah. It, well, and and here's the thing. And I mentioned, you got to like this is your, what I was, like, talking about earlier like when that. I was arguing yeah. with uh, one of our viewers. Yep. It's like, it's your, it's your one to ten. Yep. Chris is one to ten. Mm-hmm. That's what he gave it. Mine is one, is a four-ass beer to ten. Is a fantastic beer. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck about ABC. So if my all, if my yeah, all time really favorite it. best this, beer this I've ever had, had, that's gonna be right near my ten mark. Yeah, I, I know there's better beers than that, but like then they're gonna be a fucking top 10. five beer is gonna be like, a nine five. I, I, right. Yeah, nine, I don't deal with my seven, favorite five. beer ever. I I can't choose. There's too many <laughs> amazing beers. It's like top five. That's right. what I can do. Top five. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, top I five never is basically any one, one of them could be my favorite beer ever. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And it depends. There's a lot of differentiations. Like, okay, well, uh, what's the temperature outside? Uh, what am I doing? Yep. All right. Am I drinking to just uh, have one beer? Am I drinking to drink a six pack? Right. There's, there's a lot of like things that you have to consider as far as like what kind of, what kind of beer you're drinking at what point in the night as to whether it's not it's your favorite. Mm-hmm. If you're drinking one beer a night, this would be a really fucking good beer. If you're like, I want to drink one beer tonight that's really good, 
full bodied, flavorful, amazing. Boom. Get this beer. Yeah, yeah, yes. If you're like, man, I want to get fucked up tonight and drink a six pack. First of all, this comes in a four pack, so you're gonna have to drink two of them and leave two behind. <laughs> but second of all, <laughs> if right. you can drink six of these, if you can, if you drink six of these in a night, I want you to fucking immediately hit me up because I don't want you to do it. I'll, and I yeah. want to see what happens. Yeah, because these are whoa, 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 whoa. potent. I want to see. All right, I'm making my number. Six in these, night. All right, I feel like I we've been doing these use, reviews. Oh, oh yeah, I can do it. We're supposed to give our reviews with, over with 15 nothing minutes. Else fixed, yeah. It's been 15 minutes since, yeah. since the yeah. review marker came up. People are fucking waiting. Uh, <laughs> I want to see you on camera. Seven five. Six of these. Seven, seven five. five. Seven and a half. Seven I'm gonna five, give it a seven to five. It's it's not uh you know five is my average. It's it's a really good beer, but like I'm gonna give it my. In between, kind of a middle of the average road. and excellent. Yeah. Well, like, it's a really great beer, but it's like, man. Oh, God, dude. More than one or two of these. My world would be rocked. Uh, <laughs> and it's super strong flavor. Yeah. Like, well, it's good, he, he's but not it's a fan, so He's not a fan strong. of, like, whiskeys and things like no, that. No. Are, are you more into that than he is, or are you about the it same It depends. It's certain ones. I actually, and, I, and I've actually noticed, like, I used to be really timid around whiskeys, bourbons, ryes. Mm -hmm. uh, here recently, though, like, the more I try them, or I just, you know, I, I take a, a straight shot with somebody. And I'm like, man, this is going to be disgusting, whatever, I'll do it. And I take it, I'm like, not bad. Yeah, uh, especially, especially... I think I'm just, like, growing acclimated to them. I don't well, know. Well, and when you start spending, and, and, and it is, you pay, you, you get what you pay for. Absolutely. So, yeah. especially, right. especially when you're doing with whiskeys, bourbon, stuff like that, when you got when you start paying more and getting into the higher end stuff, it, it's definitely a lot smoother than the cheaper stuff the that you just guy. yeah that then you just buy and you're just like yeah Ugh, right you know? absolutely yeah see I've always just drank some rock gut <laughs> yeah and this is because well done I was just a poor motherfucker trying to get drunk so oh I, shit man I I did so MD twenty twenties and all that <laughs> and we've all been there uh -huh. right I've never had the high class shit that may be smooth. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I don't like that taste. It, that's right, right, nasty. right, right, right. Because I'm used to the rock gut taste. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you some stuff but for you I, to try. I've never like tried to sip. I've tried to sip straight bourbon, or I don't know about scotch. But I'm not a scotch guy myself. So bourbon like, on the rocks. Scotch is actually like pretty that, good. Spavor makes a pretty good one. I just don't know that world. Uh, so I mean, and I mean it's I the same thing like dumb when, on liquor. If I'm like, because yeah. I'll just keep going. <laughs> it's, just, it's the same it thing like when you're a little kid and you you drink your first drink of like hard liquor mm -hmm. you hate it or you take your first drag off of a cigarette you hate it uh five years ago i wouldn't even the olives that you put in front of me now i can't get enough of them i love them i don't know what it is like your your pal your you get a reset. Your, yeah, yeah. They, they change your palate just change yeah. yeah and they become more broad and then you're like oh i like briny things yeah. Or oh, I mean, I never used to like like straight whiskey. Now I love it. Yeah. <laughs> good whiskey. It's good. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we talking KD, KG. No. I'm okay. Yeah, I'll pass that up. Keep right. If, if, here. if, if you on. give me a, a thirty, you know, anything that's twenty to thirty dollar bottle, shit, I'll drink twenty to thirty dollar. You made two finger pull, of, two finger pull of uh, Pendleton's. Yeah. All day, dude. All day. All fucking Fav day. Favorite favorite bourbon currently though is Bullet. Well, it's good. Bullet. Absolutely, Kentucky man. Straight. Hands down. Uh, Jason said that earlier. I love it. Or yeah. Justin. Yeah, yeah. Justin was drinking Bullet tonight. Bullet is uh, Kansas is Territory. Wonderful. Have you had theirs? Yeah, Kansas dude. Territory? Okay. Yeah. Have you ever had Kansas Territory? Whiskey? Bourbon. Bourbon whiskey? Yeah. No, I've never had it. Try it. Everybody loves it. I've never even Get you a it. bottle of it. Kansas never Territory. You can get it, I think, at like most any liquor store here. It's a, it's a, it's a clearer bottle. It's an oblong shape. Yay tall, depending on what size you get, but about yay tall. Uh, Kansas Territory. Okay. It's good stuff, actually, man. Try it. Right. I absolutely, I absolutely recommend it. If you hate it, then you can blame me, and I'll buy you a bottle of something else. All right. How about that? Yeah. Boy, That's fair. That'll work. Yeah. Other than, I mean, my bar is kind of stocked currently, so I'll have to drink it down. Right. Yeah. And then I'll buy it. Down. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm not saying right now. It'll be around. Yeah. But shit, yeah, man. So what do you guys think? Yeah. You want to get Elder back here and we'll call it a night? After, after a bit, yeah. I'm yeah. good. We can yeah. sit here and shoot the shit for a little bit. Yeah. Fuck Hour yeah. cast, yeah. It, we can We're get another 15, solid. 20 if we want. We've we'll got, uh... We've achieved everything goes. I want to achieve at Everybody this point. Everybody left. we got left us. Yeah. 
<laughs> Looks like everybody has bailed here. Oh, the last little bit. Did they? Did they? Going on? Yeah. Uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you though, I'm big. This this beer. Oh, this is a good solid beer, man. Yeah. And I'm glad I'm glad that I have someone else that that enjoys drinking whiskeys and things like that. So you get more of a sense of where where I'm placed at on this, you know. Yeah. And I'm not I'm not. You know, dogging you or dogging you, Filthy but peasants, fucking better than that. But, <laughs> but for the fact that a good that, review, a yeah, really oh, good one. yeah, this this is, I mean, and price price point wise, for me, this is probably something you know I'd be Next. like, well, on, on a heavier paycheck, I'll give it a try, um, because it is it is expensive, um, but for the fact that you guys had already but chosen also, it, like twelve five though, percentage, it, it, like, exactly, and so. This is the beer that you guys chose, and I'm definitely glad I came in as a guest, which thank you again to you two as well with Chris. Um, I'm glad I came in on, on a night where I could try this and the red beer because I'm a big fan of both. You know, I like I like Irish reds. I love porters. I love stouts, things like that. Um, and I've had quite a bit of them. This is definitely, like I said, I, I gave it a nine. Yeah. Yes, th- this one, they they did a good job. They, they definitely put effort into... Uh, the the flavor and everything that this beer has to offer. What we should do is we should actually get some of uh, uh, Founders KBS, yeah. and then we should get some more of this, and then we should do a blind taste, taste test. test and That'd see. Be interesting. Yeah, see who likes what, because uh, they're very similar. They are very they're close. Similar. Yeah. yeah, with your review, I was curious too because I I didn't have the one that you mentioned before either. Uh, go to Speak. So, I think Speak still has it on tap. On tap. KBS. Yeah, but okay. you got to make sure you get the Kentucky breakfast stout because they have another breakfast stout that's different. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know if they have them both on tap. Yeah, now I, I was torn yeah. between trying Canadian the breakfast, breakfast the breakfast, breakfast that they stout. had, yeah. and I ended up choosing no, that K. stout one. Kentucky breakfast stout. Both. The stout they one's the one too. that I ended up giving you, and it wasn't even it wasn't even like a dark beer or anything. And I was like I was like this can't be right, and I, I didn't care for it. That honey brown I, or the. Sh- Brown honey or brown uh, sugar? Whatever it was, I, I didn't care for it. Oh, right you on. know, and that's yeah. the that's the one that you were like, well, it's not too bad. Well, because no, no, actually, Tate's actually the one that drank it. You you couldn't oh. believe that it was a stout either. You're like, wait, what? Oh, that was oh that was yeah, Cam's territory, that was uh, Roll Chain or Cam's territory. Cam's yeah. territory. Yeah. Uh, it was supposed like to be aeroplane or some bullshit. Well, it no, was locomotion. Locomotion. And, the, yeah. and it was supposed to be a stout. Yeah. And I thought they gave you the wrong beer. I, yeah. I I still think they gave me the wrong beer. There's no way. I hope they did. I'm not sure what it was. I hope they gave. I you drank the wrong it because it was alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I hope they gave it to you. I didn't care for it. I was just and, like, the, and this isn't me necessarily no. talking shit. And I guess we haven't tagged them in anything, so they won't ever view it anyways. But like, hopefully, Kansas <laughs> territory is like. I love, good beer. I love local yeah. fucking breweries. That, that that fucking company. Well, what's the beer that, that the they only, make that you like? Least favorite. The only one that I've liked that they brewed was that roller chain. That roller, they had, that roller, roller chain. chain okay. And it was okay. I've had the I've had the wind wagon, and when I had it, did you have their aeroplane IPA? Well, the aeroplane's I, I a different don't. company. I don't think I like the aeroplane huh? either. Well, no, yeah. it's no, it's their aeroplane IPA. Kansas yep. Territory Airplane IPA. Yep. Aeroplane, the brewing company is out of Wichita. It's right. a totally different brewing company. Well, I've had so I've had the roller chain wind wagon. And I think that's an IPA as well. And I don't remember it being Maybe it's wind wagon. I'm pretty sure it's it's Kansas Territory Airplane IPA. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Maybe. Yeah, I don't I, but it's I don't recall. Fucking <laughs> disgusting. Talk shit. I drank part of one, dumped it down in my buddy's Sorry. sink. I came back a week later because he had saved them in his fridge, the last four, because he dumped his out. And he's like, hey, I still have these beers you left here last time. I'm like, throw them the fuck away. Oh. I didn't even fucking even want them. That's a bad batch. That's a bad batch. Molly's and back I'm huge with us, on I think. What? What's up? I think Molly's back with us, maybe. Molly, you back? Hello, Molly. Oh, uh, no, that was from earlier. She said, nope, Diet yeah. Pepsi. That and was a long time ago. M- oh. The only thing I would change on this, though, for on the label would be the Victory at Sea. For me, it would definitely okay, be uh, yeah. Victory at Land. Damn, I am. Because this, this, <laughs> yeah, this is definitely going to be all a, about. Oh, I am. Land, <laughs> so I'm looking this forward to the fact that, I'm glad that we're going to have, yeah. we're going to have too. extras of this beer in this fridge for a while. I ain't drinking them. Y'all can have them. <laughs> right here. Anytime I'm here. If we got to say one for some, Jason. We got to say one for Jason. I tell him we're two. He's got two to his yeah. name. Yeah. I'm yeah, and I, and I got two. As much as I want to drink my other one, I'm going to. You know, I'm gonna save it for my dad. I know my dad's gonna is gonna enjoy this definitely. Yeah. Yep. It's uh, That's cool. I like it. 
I wish I had an activity that my my father and I did together. Well, and uh, he's my stepdad, but I call him my dad Still. Uh, for anyone that knows. But uh, yeah, that's that's my dad. So he's yeah. a good guy. He's done a lot for me, a lot for my mom, my sister, and you know things like that. So that's good. Yep, man. this is awesome. So yeah. if I if I can be if I can be half the man that he is, I'll be I'll be good. So nice. Yep. He's See, a good we're guy. learning about our special guest here. Yep. Oh, I there we go. Slowly coming out. <laughs> we, just, so. we just had to get him liquored up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> a bit. I mean, if, if we'd have started off with he's, this, it'd have been a different show. Up. Yeah, a whole different fucking whole show. whole different show. He's opened up quite so. a bit in the last 30. Yeah. No, man, it was a good cast tonight. We uh, we always want to thank everybody who, who uh, joined in tonight. Uh, commented, gave us some questions, gave yeah. us some answers. Like the page, all that Something shit. Something to talk about. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> we love you guys. If, uh, if you guys didn't join in every night, we wouldn't have been doing this for six months now. Right. So, absolutely. Thank That's you guys so part. fucking much. And I wish, uh, what is it, Chad? Dude's always in here talking shit and having fun. Is it Chad or Chase or... Uh, who, are we, who are we talking about? Damn it. I'll have to look at the last few weeks' cast. Wait, I mean, like, when? I don't... He's always very interactive. The guy uh, that I know? I think so. Uh, no, God damn it. One of y'all. He's like, shit, I'm gonna have to look. Brad? Uh, no, not... Brad is Jason's no, friend, no, Brad. No, 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 no. You're thinking of, uh... Man, now this is gonna drive me nuts. You're gonna make me feel bad. Fuck whoever it is. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We love interaction. People yeah. talking to us live in the in the comments. Oh, you went back to red, huh? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I, I can't hang with that bourbon. <laughs> so we're we gonna hey, call that... it a night. Yeah, we might as well tone it down. And let's do a do an exit cheers. Let's do a final yeah final toast. <laughs> Nap, yeah. get your beer in the. Uh, I, I'm empty. What do you want? But... What do you want? <laughs> huh? What do you want? Uh, I, I really want to drink another another uh, ballast point. Okay, he's gonna give you some. He's gonna give you some. That, hey, that'll work. There you go. All right. And honestly, Cheers, honestly, normally I Thank probably would Thank you guys wouldn't. so Cheers. much for the term for fucking <laughs> uh, checking in tonight. We love you guys so much. Cheers. Cheers. Some outro music. Episode twenty two. Cheers. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Oh, and real quick, uh, shout out to these guys for having me over for the evening. Thanks for I had, oh definitely. Joining, I, I had a blast, man. It and, was uh, short notice. Was that Brown Jason? But yeah, that's right, Brown Jason. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, you know, I, I was nervous, but I definitely had fun, man. You enjoy so, yourself? I did, I did. I know all three of you, so it's, it's definitely good. One more. Oh, yeah. yeah one, one more. more. Let's do it, man. More. Cheers, everybody. All right. Y'all have a good one. Good night. Woo! We got to pee.